Hi everyone, uh, this is the, today's news as it's going on. If you like this content by the way, and you like this channel in general, please don't forget to subscribe. It really does help the channel and it helps to boost my uh, profile in, in front of other people who may want to watch this content as well. So uh, if you could like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. But today, some news that will um, please fans of Tompkins and MacArthur. They have both agreed new deals with Crystal Palace. Uh, James Tompkins, who... Uh, He's been has been here for a long time. He's been here for uh, since 2016 now, and uh, he's racked up 128 appearances. He is going to be backup or first choice as uh, backup for Mark Gahey and Joe Anderson. Obviously, we lost um, Martin Kelly on the uh, on a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago now. We lost Martin Kelly, so uh, we are still going to be in the lookout apparently for a central defender, and um, and so that's going to be interesting to see who we get to uh, to cover that but uh, it also it looks like obviously Woodrow Ward is still going to be there but uh, obviously he's getting old as well so I think they're going to get somebody in who's going to be able to compete with with uh, Joe Ward and uh, Nathaniel Klein as well so because uh, I think um, you know Mitchell on the other side I think he's he's pretty much settled now he's he's, he's pretty much uh, he's improving every season so I think he's pretty much settled that as his, as his own spot and uh, MacArthur who is um, a bit younger than than uh, Bit younger than what's his name Tompkins. <laughs> Tompkins. He's a bit younger than Tompkins. He has also agreed new terms on his deal. He's been at Palace even longer than Tompkins has, and uh, he's only one one game away from two hundred and fifty appearances, which is fantastic. So they are both um, they both signed new deals, which is great. So that means that uh, we're going to have those two probably as reserve. I don't know. I don't know if MacArthur's going to have a uh, a big impact next season. I don't know how much time he's going to have on the, on the pitch, but hopefully he'll be there with um, with his his unique form of uh, chasing down and running all over the pitch the way that he always does and, the, and uh, his unsung um, contribution to the game. Also, more news on um, Czech Dukure, who apparently Palace are in further talks with and it looks as though he is going to be one of our first signings, I think, this summer because uh, it looks like Patrick Vieira is um, very, very keen on this guy. And he wants to have him in his squad, and it could be that uh, he will turn up. He kind of is. Um, the Palace are still in talk with Lawrence over him, and uh, he's got two years in the league run. I've seen twenty-two-year-old develop into a fine young talent. Um, Palace signing represent a major coup for the club. Well, I think it would because he's very, from what I've heard, from what I've seen, he's a very good player indeed, and um, he's. Uh, so let's look up further down. He has two years left on his current deal at Lons, and uh, for a relatively small fee of 15 million, he can be claimed. So uh, I think 15 million for someone like Decor is going to be pretty good. Um, it looks like we're in advanced talks with him as well, and with Lons. So uh, I reckon that he could possibly be the first signing when the window opens. But uh, let me know what you think about these two. I mean, do you feel that that they're both, well, obviously Martin Kelly, uh, obviously, Martin Kelly, obviously James Tompkins and James MacArthur are both good to have as backups and good to have you know that kind of quality and that kind of experience in reserve um to Kure, i think he's going to be a good addition for 15 million i think that would be a swoop for us if we can get hold of him uh let me know your thoughts on this 